This Let's Play was made possible by these generous patrons. And we are back. For more Ori, but with a nicer, more convenient setup. Thank you to our marvelous counselings who have made this possible. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, we actually get to use our couch. We do. This is nice. You guys heard it in uh, Humans Fall Flat. But um, this is my first time this, getting to use it. This is the first time Sam gets to use the new couch recording setup. Oops. Yeah. Oh boy. Stay and down. I'm sure Stay you guys down. talked Stay about down. humans fall flat, but this was always the original intention, which is why we wanted to go with couchlings because we always we have we you bought this couch when we first started the channel two and a half years ago. Yeah. So guys, a uh, little information between yesterday's episode and today's episode. Uh, I grinded out some health orbs. And I grinded out some experience orbs, just searching around, finding them. Uh, I don't want to hear your complaints, like, oh, you did it off camera. It was boring as all get out. Nothing interesting happened. Um, so I have a lot more health and some energy I don't think stuff. most people are going to care. I don't think so either. But, you know, there's always going to be somebody who's like, wait a second. What? You have this I wanted things? to see all of it. It's like, that would have been like seven episodes of nothing. And, you know, it, we did that a little bit. We learned early on, especially with games like Flint Hook, which is, which is a fun series, but it was oh probably our third series we did. Mm -hmm. It just kind of came to a point where certain games, grinding's okay, but then other games, what are you getting out of the grinding? And from a companion who's sitting next to you to record, what do they have to say when you're just grinding for stuff? There's only so many stories that happen within a week's time yeah. that you can tell How about. Do I, uh... Especially now that I'm on break. I'm on break till like... I think it's the 15th or so before I have to start going back to work because it's yeah. summer vacation. That's nice. But not me. really because I have bills. Oof. Um, it's still summer vacation. But oops, summer vacation. okay, I didn't realize that was going to throw me all the way up there. It's like a forced sabbatical. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what happens when you're a teacher, man. But uh, what was I going to say? How do I do the uh, like boost jump again? I don't know. There was one person in the comment section that was talking about, uh, I think it might have been Emily, who said, oh, one of the easiest ways to get rid of him is to just throw him in the thorns. So mm -hmm. I was like, yeah. Spikes no, that makes are, sense. It, yeah, it was a good tip. Um, and there was a couple good tips, oh, but I'm forgetting uh, a handful of Somebody them. came in, and they were like, uh, about, this is why the blind forest is the blind forest. Technically, the that was really scenes, awesome. Thank scenes, you for, signs eye or whatever is gone, because yeah. the, cause the uh, Kuro took it. That was super... Hey, Kuro. Yeah. Uh, that was super useful, too, because a lot of the game... It's very much Hollow Knight in that aspect. Well, mm -hmm. this Hollow Knight's like this in that aspect, where it's storytelling without words, which... I like that type of there stuff. There we go. There we go. Um, but yeah, it was a little confusing on what was going on with the plot. Mm hmm. It's a. Uh, oh, shoot. We got, a, we got an old comment um, from way back. I think it's like on Hollow Knight episode 12 or whatnot. Uh -huh. It said, You guys have any empathy for the lore? It's like, We fucking love the lore. The lore is great. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. We started, we didn't realize the lore was as deep as it was at first. Oh, yeah. And who so... went by episode 12? Ooh. Episode 12, we were still just getting into you so like oh i guess this is the game like i, I wonder how this works mm -hmm. i was wondering why i slowed down here i didn't see the statue in the background oh snap look at those pretty colors it's nar naru right uh no or at least maybe like a naru type character oh that's naru yeah that's him but i don't think it's with the i don't think it's you as the light creature i think it's just random other light creatures i think it's me because i think yeah see it's us playing with Oh, maybe. Nope. Nope. Maybe not. What? Because you were much. Naru was much older when he met Ori. But I don't, Ori's I also not, don't think we've been here. Yeah. And Naru didn't have the head stuff, right? Oh, maybe Antlers. that's. That was his dad, wasn't it? Yeah. Sorry, guys, if we're bumbling through the lore, but. I'm trying to figure it out. It's kind of. It's a little bit like not the most apparent thing as you're trying to learn True. it. True. And one of the things that we try and avoid doing, too, is we don't go on the internet and read wikis while we're playing the game because we feel like that takes a little bit away from kind of the experience yeah maybe we'll do that later Was like that I, young... I would do that later after for hollow knight but can that... i watch lore videos after we kind of almost beat the initial playthrough that looks like naro but i don't think naro has that belly pattern oh uh, he does Huh. It's just, it's much more visible now because they use a dark purple and kind of a light purple scheme to mm -hmm. like for his fur or his skin. You I'm gonna go with fur. You have to forgive us a little bit too because we're playing on a big TV now and not an actual tiny monitor. So everything so kind of looks nice. a little different. Yeah, luckily a family member uh, donated the TV. So yeah. they didn't have any use for it. And they're like, hey, you want to set this up? And we're like, I was like, yeah, that would be amazing. Yeah. Because we've always wanted to do it, but 
buying a nice like $500 TV well may not sound like a lot like that's a that's a big price investment and after our couchlings with the patreon and you know just you guys watching YouTube and watching our commercials for us have uh, helped us be able to buy a really nice mic and hopefully you guys can tell the difference with that yeah well the new nice uh, how do I get through I can't get through here you have to hit that switch don't you what switch is that thing a switch right there I mean no, that that's you... just a bumper huh Let's see. Try and go back up there. This one of these ones I could just blow up. There's a pound thing you're gonna have to find. Try and go up again. I'm gonna save. Yeah, save right oh, here. Oh, cannot. <laughs> can't in the unsafe zone. Well, just try not die then. Yeah, thanks. No, man, there's no switch in here. I'll have to deactivate that. You can't throw anything at that, like a bomb or something. No. I could try and ground pound on it, but I bet I'll just die. Yeah, don't do that. Uh, go over to the side. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything. Go from above, maybe. I tried. That's where I just was. Well, I wasn't paying attention to this I'll, little bridge right here. Yeah, maybe I'll see something. So you're I, right. There's the I bridge. I already tried grab pounding down. Can you just down. do A and down while you're on top of it to send you down? Can I still do that through this one? I guess I can, huh? Yeah. Holy crap, I thought it was too thick. I think uh, it's usually like in games, like if it's that thin, you're mm -hmm. typically able to just A through it. Maybe that's what would happen when you were at the water bridge that you saw earlier. You were trying to ground pound. I tried through that section. Oh, you tried just do the down and A? Yeah. Oh, maybe weird. I didn't do it in a thin enough spot. But... Maybe. I don't know. So could cast our light. Even in the dark, she would see. She lived deep in this grove. Now she rests in peace. Uh-huh. Power up. Give me my light, please. Oh, baby, oh, baby. Let it shine. Let's go. My soul light. Bam. This thing is my last power up. You gain light burst. Use ability burst. press or hold. Hey, it's a grenade. Huh. Press or hold left bumper, huh? It might be a grenade. Oh. And cool. shuffle. Oh. Okay. Do I just use it to bounce off of? I think you can use it to... Maybe try and throw it and then try and uh, do your jumpy off of it. Or try yeah, try that. I'll try this. Oh, cool. It did something in blue. Though. It didn't do anything, though. Oh, there we go. That did something. I've been wondering how to uh, interact with those orange orbs. They're hmm. everywhere, and they're they're in a, a lot of secret areas. There's one up there, too. Yeah. They're in a lot of areas where I'm not able to actually do... I, mean, I can't get to them. Right. So now I see why I haven't been able to. Whee! Ambience. Nice. Yeah, this is working out, dude. Good <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I kind I like this mechanic. This is fun. It's something that we didn't think about until we were. Um... Oh, I can like arc it even Ooh, more nice. too. Uh, I uh, I like it because it reminds me of kind of like a gunbound. Yeah. There we go. Oh, that's so cool. It's so crazy to see all the detail now because for the longest time we were just working on like a small, fifteen. To what, 18 inch monitor? Uh, I'd say it's 20 like a 22, 21. 22? Okay, yeah, you're right. I'm, I should know this. I'm an artist, I know inches. <laughs> um, but yeah, like 11 by 17, 22 inch monitor, yeah, something yeah. like that. So, but with two people crowding around it, a lot of details end up getting mixed, mi uh, mixed, mixed up and missed. Yeah. So when you guys like, why did you guys see that? It's like, we're looking at a tiny screen. Tiny itty bitty. I can't see anything. Oh, jeez. And it's different when you're the single person on the screen compared to two people trying to share real estate mm -hmm. on the screen. So this is super nice. There's so much detail that I haven't even seen before now. It looks kind of... I don't know if it's the bloom on the screen, but it looks kind of blurry in a way where I'm like, eh, I, don't, I don't know. It loses a little sharpness, but it's a lot easier Did to I see Ori now, for sure. Yeah. I feel like when they made this game, they tested it out on uh, like a TV, good monitor on TVs <laughs> and like oh, a shoot. large monitor. And then they're like, no, Ori's fine. And then a small monitor's like, ooh, maybe not play this on the Switch. Yeah. I get kind of like a motion blur, but I think I can turn the actual motion blur off. I think he can too. Do you mean like for the background or do you mean just uh, for an Ori? I don't know if it's because I'm used to like a plasma screen and this is an LED TV. Maybe. But I'm getting kind of like my eyes are like, oh, I lose focus when it when it scans and scrolls fast That's enough. That's weird. I'm not uh, getting that feeling. Maybe I'm just bad at eyeballing. Maybe. I'm not great at eyeballing either. It's funny, a while back, uh, because I work on computer screens all the time, I had to talk to my, I like when I had an optometrist, now I just go to my doctor and Oof. they check my eyes there uh -huh. for my special brand. Um, Your but, special uh, brand makes it sound like you like poop. <laughs> um, but I had to do like eye exercises because uh, 
just every now and then, like, he taught me some different eye exercises, like, I'm focusing and Oof. refocusing that help, like, my eyes kind of readjust. Well, you're in a, you, you use, like, a lot of screens and stuff, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm always working either digitally or I'm working in a sketchbook, and because my vision's never been great. I've worn glasses, I've been wearing glasses since I was in first grade, mm -hmm. which has always been a pet peeve of mine when people are like, oh, I wear for a fashion statement. It's like, fuck you. <laughs> I've been wearing glasses because I've had to since first grade, and I, mean, I like... They're, they are a fashion statement. They are a fashion statement. They can statement. be. Just be happy that people are I don't excited about people wearing glasses, and they don't think it's the dorkiest thing in the world anymore. Yeah, and but, oh, man, when they don't need it, it just, mm -hmm. it feels like why are you doing that? Come on, man. <laughs> Like, we're, we're forced to wear this. We didn't start this as a fashion statement. I, okay. I think the thing that bothers me the most is just lensless glasses when people just wear the frames. Like, the fuck off. That is kind of weird. Just, yeah. just just get out of here. It's like, oh, it's fashionable. It's like, be like the rest of us blind people that have to wear this. Like, clean glasses and stuff. Having to clean glasses and deal with, like, glasses management and buying new pairs every now and then. Oops. Yeah, I, I get you. Ooh, ability? Oh, is that it? Yeah, an ability cell. Cool. So I have three now. When I save, I should be able to pick up that charge burst flame. I was hoping to get at least up to here before I, I move right. on. That being said, wear whatever glasses you want. But it, just, it just bothers me on a little bit of a fundamental level. It's like, man, I've been forced to wear this my whole <laughs> life. But you're just wearing it as a fashion statement. I think it's a good thing. I take off my glasses. It increases, I can't see anything. It increases the number of frames uh, that are available to you just by way of having more consumers out there demanding better things. Oh boy, I didn't even see that purple. True. Stuff. One of the problems is with glasses in particular, uh -huh. um, because your prescription is always so specific. Mm -hmm. Finding frames and like ordering on, oh, like shit. ordering glasses without without using your optometrist, or maybe like getting a written prescription from your doctor and then going to perhaps maybe a Walmart uh -huh. is, or like some other place that might sell glasses, is almost impossible because you can't try on the frames. Like, oh, online, there's so many choices, except you can't see how it fits on your face and you can't really tell if it's going to look good. So it's kind of like going clothes shopping online, it's a big crapshoot. Except you're spending way more money. Well, I'm spending way more money on glasses, like 150 plus. Some people probably spend a lot of money on online clothes, but that's always been one of those things that I think is going to be prevalent no matter what, mm -hmm. is just clothing stores. People are always going to want to go and try on clothes. Shoot! Oh, well, I'm only right here. That's not bad. I, uh, I understand what you're saying, man. I don't understand the whole, like, why do you need a prescription to get glasses if you're willing to pay for something that may not be right, then fuck it, let them pay. Some people don't have the ability to go to the doctor or get a prescription, things like that. Yeah, because if, if your prescription's not exact, the, each eyeball is different, and if it's different, it's gonna give you headaches all the time. Or I get you, you but see. that's your risk. Yeah. I mean, not everyone has the ability to go Well, it's get more a like they can't tune the system, so it's just a giant fucking crapshoot, and then they'll just have tons of returns. So they're like, you gotta get a gotta get a prescription no return policy dang it. yeah um do i can i like grenade this one don't you have to stick an orb in there no i think it's enemy based on these ones i think once you once the enemies are dead in the area i think that's what it is anyway. you can bounce on the top of the wall you just can't bounce on the spikes hmm you okay. might need to be further back like back that's bouncing off the wall, yeah. And still new at this. Almost. Let me angle it up higher so it kind of. There we go. Yes. Oh, come back, you jerky jerk face. It's right off screen. I know. Nice. Now you and open up. You did it. Yeah, that was it. Cool. So they. It's good that we uh, found everything out before we went to the Black Root Basin. Right. That is what this place is called, right? I think so. Black Root Basin. I'm just reveling in the fact that I can stretch on my legs. It's nice, right? It is really nice. Who found an ability cell? 
I think we're getting through this a lot faster than being almost six two, cramping yourself like in a small little desk area without being able to stretch out for hours on end is a little uh, a little cramped. We do have a little tiny desk. Yeah, I'm glad that we don't have. Thank the... you so much, you couch links. <laughs> <laughs> We've been reveling in it. So if we're uh, talking about it a lot, it's because we're absolutely enthralled. Yeah, with the new sitting zone. We're just overjoyed zone. by having this cool setup. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. And I think you're going to be doing a show off video at some point once we've got everything i'm gonna try to yeah. uh it's just gonna be shot on the cell phone so yeah i mean it's not it's gonna not, be it's not like we have an incredible camera that we're gonna be showing things off with you know new no, yeah we don't have like that kind of stuff we're not rich guys yeah not yet then soon we will be when we take over the internet Dude, that would be nice yeah wouldn't it <laughs> oh i should probably save it's been a while Probably a good idea. Whoop, 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 whoop. Gotta kill all those boys. guys. That's okay. I'd just rather not do it over the spikes and get knocked down if, if at all possible. Yeah. Oh shoot, they're up there in the ceiling too. Yeah, I think you gotta throw that guy up there. <laughs> that doesn't take anything, you just keep it. Does. Using it. Oh, it does. It does. I think I gotta uh, just angle it ever so right. Nice. It takes a little bit. Don't explode on me. Don't explode on me. As long me. as they don't hit you, you'll be fine. Yeah, I think it's I think it's good. There Pop we go. Pop and lock. Get that other one. I can get it. I can get it. I just gotta watch this pattern. Pop. And one more. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Don't. Don't. Just like an annoying pimple, pop that thing off the surface. God, I've been breaking out a lot lately and it's been pissing me off. That sucks. Yeah. You would think at like past the age of 30, you're like, cool, I'm done with acne, right? Nope. I, uh, I think I, I, I mean, we said it again. I think it's about time I got to wash my pillow sheets. Pillows yeah. And sheets and stuff like that. Oh! You got to do it ever so often because otherwise, yeah. yeah. Well, I just, I, I swore it was like three weeks ago. Mm. But I mean, I'm breaking out a lot. So maybe it's either just time for new pillows. The heat also doesn't help. It doesn't. It gets more greasy. I sweat so much. So I honestly yeah. think it is the pillows. Um, and it's time to get it because I think, I think my pillows like, like a yeah. like two years old. <laughs> That's about when you replace them, because like you, like from what I remember reading, like you replace a pillow about every two years. Yeah, we talked like about it. Oh, those can light up too. Yeah, because it originally said like, oh, I think you do it every six months. I'm like, That's I think, a lot. I think for you're supposed to months. to a year, you know. I, now, if you have more pillows, yeah. Everything I read was like uh, two years. Really? Yeah. But, I do it more often than that, at least. Yeah. I, I I don't think I can. When mine starts like being fluffy. I've got a big old head, so. Yeah, maybe like, you wear down your pillows faster. I do. <laughs> I'm more conservative about my pillow usage. Yeah. Um. How about we save here and we will see you guys next time where we continue going through the Black Root Basin. I think we can get it all in the next episode and then yeah. head up onto the, uh, I assume, right here in the center to go uh, to Mount Horu. Yeah. Uh, I think it is how my Haru. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Beep bop boop. It's funny because I have three pillows that I just kind of interchange depending on like what comfort I want for that night. Like I have mm -hmm. a firm pillow and like two soft pillows. Mm -hmm. It's just like they get flip flop like Russian roulette. Like which pillows turn is it tonight? Here you go. <laughs> Generally, I'll like take the bottom one that's all cold. Mm -hmm. Yes. Pull it up. Quickly try and fall asleep before it gets hot and sweaty in here. <laughs> yeah.